Hello, Mr. Brown here. I just want to say I hope you all had a fantastic half term break. And we just want to say how proud we are of each and every single one of you. Uh, you've been fantastic role models for Manor, showing all those lovely characteristics we strive for, so being resilient and persevering to, through such a strange time. We have been blown away by some of the fantastic home learning that's been going on. We understand that it's not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but we are so, so proud of you. And this week, I'm going to take you through what we're going to look at for our home learning. Firstly, for our maths and English learning, we're going to continue with our online learning from the fantastic lessons from Oak National Academy. The link is at the top of your project box, just like it always is. You may even want to try some of their foundation lessons. I know they've got some fantastic RE lessons coming up and some Spanish lessons. And I know the Spanish is something that you've all really been enjoying. Also, as part of your home learning, we've given you some of our learning journeys for maths and English. So for English, we're looking at some really fantastic texts from Africa. And maths, we're looking at multiplying by 100. Now, all those resources are, in, are on your home learning page and in the useful link sections. For our project this week, we're going to be looking at science and focusing on living things and their habitats. We're going to be exploring feeding relationships between animals and plants to find how they rely on one another. So step one, we're going to be looking at differing animal diets. So if you go into our home learning page, there is a resource. We would like you to answer the questions that we've put on your project side. So we want you to be thinking about what a carnivore is, what a herbivore is, what an omnivore is, and how do different types of teeth affect their animal diet? Step two, we're going to be looking at producers, consumers, predators and prey. And we're going to be looking at the food chain source. So again, on your home learning section, you will find that source. What we would like you to do is can you explain the meanings of those key terms? So what is a producer, a consumer, prey and a predator? Step three. Now, we're going to continue to look at food chains, but what we would like you to do as part of step three is you use that understanding of, of food chains from your earlier learning, and we would like you to create a food chain from a specific habitat. We would like you to use arrows to show how energy is passed through the food chain, and we would like you to label the producer, the prey, and the predator. And if you feel like a challenge, can you explain how you know? Step four, we're going to be moving our learning on a little bit. So we're going to move on from food chains and we're going to be looking at food webs. So again, just like with the food chains, there is a source in your home learning section. We're going to be looking at what a food web is. Once you understand what a food web is, what we would like you to try and do is, can you explain the similarities and differences between a food web and a food chain. So what's the same about them and what is different? And if you feel like a bit of a challenge, maybe try and create your own food web and see what different plants and animals would fit into there for a specific habitat. And before I go, we have got one last thing to talk about. So what Mr. Brewerton, Miss Chambers and myself have done is set you up a battle on TT Rockstars. We are going to pitch the year four boys against the year four girls to see who comes out on top. So we are looking for a winner. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be our boys or is it going to be our girls? Well, that's everything for now. So all I would like to say is that remember when you're having a go at this learning, it is about having your best go. We know it's a little bit challenging sometimes doing it at home. But we're so proud of the effort you're putting in. And the only thing we expect is for you to have a go. That is it. So make sure you look after yourselves. Make sure you look after your families. Stay safe. Enjoy some lovely family time. And perhaps, fingers crossed, looking outside, some beautiful weather. Make sure you get some exercise where you can. We are all missing you so much at Manor. And hopefully... 
We'll see you all very soon. Bye.